right, guys. Welcome to the channel. So, sorry about the delay here, but uh, I'm having a little bit of issues. I cannot seem to <laughs> get my live stream up on YouTube on my PC for some reason. Uh, so that could be problematic because I can edit anything <laughs> with the live stream, unfortunately. But while I uh, while I wait, I can at least talk to you guys. Before we get started here, I hope I get more than this in here. Usually my farming simulator streams go fairly well. We haven't done farming simulator in a long time, and I thought we would uh, we would try that out tonight. So I uh, I checked this map out earlier today. This is the Edgewater, Saskatchewan map, and it's a uh, it's a pretty good map. So I thought we'd we'd check this out. All right. So let's see here. I had to restart my computer. Let's see if that fixed anything. Hmm. Ah, oh, it doesn't look like it did. Damn it. Well, we can listen to some music here while I try to get this sorted, guys. I'm sorry about this. I don't seem to be having issues with my internet. My internet seems good, so I don't know what the hell's going on. I can, uh, I can see the video on my phone. But yeah, I can't get it up on my PC for some reason. a little bit here while well, I try this one more time. Turn the music down a bit here. So I will say this uh, this bad boy here, this doesn't come on the map. Uh, I bought this. This is a mod. This is the uh, TLX, what is it? Winter? Winter Wolf. That thing is a beast. So we're going to be using that for our truck. I am using the wheel tonight as well, which I don't too often with this game, but uh, I was on it earlier today playing on the wheel, having a real blast. Uh, for our big tractor, we got a New Holland. That doesn't come with it. What does come with it is an articulated Rostle Mash, which I do not like articulated tractors. I don't like articulated vehicles in general. And for our smaller tractor, we got this, uh, this Veltra here. Uh, I went with the Harvester that's on the map because it I don't have a problem with this. This is an All right harvester. If, oh, yeah, that's right. I can't open the door from the outside. That's interesting because Other ones you can but this one you can which makes sense because uh, You wouldn't be able to in real life especially if it had an automatic door opener unless you had a remote for it Which you know most people would have so I got this we're gonna keep that trailer. That's fine no issues there and we had uh, a truck in here, the old lizard truck, which I don't care for that, so we sold that. I don't have anything to replace that, which is fine. We don't need anything to replace that just yet, I don't feel. So let me uh, try to log back into my computer one more time here and see what's going on. But yeah, so if we take a look at the map, we are up here. And yeah, so field one, this is our field and this is full of, what's the crop? Flax, full of flax. This field is absolutely massive. And as you can see, if I go like this, this is all of our area right here. We don't have anything else on the map, which is all right. Cause as I said, this is a huge piece of property right here. All right, PC's back up. Let's see if I can get back on YouTube here. All I need it for is the chat. I mean, I can look at the chat on my phone, but I prefer not to. It's much easier for me to, to look it up. All right, so it's showing up on my YouTube page. Let's see if it's showing up in my YouTube studio. At this point, I'm not even worried about 
really getting a thumbnail up or uh, or sharing sharing the stream. If uh, if people want to hop in the stream, they'll they'll discover it. So content, come on. Ah, okay, there we are. Nice. We are cooking with gas now, people. Yes. I can see you, Bill. Thank you. Luckily, on the PS5, I have it, so I can see chat when it, uh, it'll pop up my screen, but if it's uh, a long message, I can't see the whole thing. But we should be good. We're on... YouTube, I just have to wait for the chat to pop up. Yes, there we go. The chat's up. All right, we're good to go. Like I said, guys, I'm not going to worry about a thumbnail or sharing it or anything like that. I just want to give the stream. <laughs> I don't want to make you guys wait any longer. So, yeah, this is this is our whole area here, and this needs to be harvested. So, I guess there's no point in dicking around. We might as well just uh, get right to it. It's been a long time, man. I love this game. It's like every time that I don't play this game in a while and come back to it. I just always forget how much I absolutely love it. Let's do a little bit of this action here. Like I said, I am playing on the steering wheel today. I don't play this game too often with the wheel, but uh, I gave it a go earlier this afternoon and was having a lot of fun with it. So I thought, you know what? Well, let's do a live stream tonight. And let's do it with the wheel. Let's uh, line this bad boy up. Come on. Hmm. Okay, so you have to be really square up to that. I thought my memory must be failing because I thought you could hook up to these. There we go. Okay, that is hard to drive like that. So let's let's get out here. Let's see what we can do. So guys, if you're new to the channel, I appreciate you being here. The only thing I do ask is if you all could leave me a like. That's the only thing I ever ask for. Obviously, I would love subscribers and all that, but I don't ask for subscribers. I would just like a like left. That's it. Okay. So let's... Get this started and let's start harvesting. By far my favorite job in the game is harvesting. Doesn't even matter what I'm harvesting. Let's get this a little straightened out. I gotta get that camera at the sweet spot. There we go. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. That looks good to me. All right, here we are. So, I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. Saturday is almost over, unfortunately, so I appreciate anybody that spends a little bit of their Saturday evening with me. Tomorrow's Sunday, and we'll be right back in to another work week. And we got some more snow on the way here in upstate New York. Not a lot, though, and it's so strange because we're getting snow, but the temperatures are uh, they're, they're pretty they're pretty nice, man. Like, today, it was in the 40s. It snowed last night, and uh, tonight it's all packing down and melting. It's going to be in the 40s again tomorrow, and then Monday, Monday night, I think we're supposed to get a snowstorm. Not a lot, but I don't know, man. Come March, I'm, I'm sick of any snow. I don't want to see any snow come March. You're a lurker and don't chat too much? Ah, that's all right, man. I've done it. Like I say, I, I don't mind lurkers. Of course, a stream full of lurkers makes my job a little more difficult because, you know, talking to nobody on a stream is uh, a little tricky, but yeah, that's all right. I don't force anybody to talk. I'm just glad you're here, man. 
So yeah, I haven't I haven't really picked up this game in a long time. I've just been busy with other games and stuff, and this used to be such a huge, huge thing on my channel. But then I just uh, you know I did get the views on it, so unfortunately. Well, thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. I uh, I think I got that from my father. I swear to my dad, he can he can talk to anybody for hours about anything. I don't think I'm quite as good as he is, but I try. But yeah, the uh, the views started dropping for this game, and it's it's really hard, man. This game is really hard. It's one of those games that you know, there's so many good content creators that I don't think people really like to watch other creators besides like Mr. CVP, Daggerwin, uh, you know, DJ Goham, Clutch, FS Club, those guys. Terrible, terrible what happened to Mr. CVP's channel. His channel just got hacked like uh, two days ago, a day or two ago. And yeah, the people that hacked his channel, they deleted all of his videos. Uh, real horrible thing. Managed to get the channel taken down. I guess he's got back into his Google account, which is good. And now it's just, it's up to YouTube, man. It's up to YouTube to see what they can do. Hopefully they can, they can save his videos. But man, I know some people that had that happen to them and they lost everything. They had to start over again. Luckily, he'll get his subscribers back. That won't be a big deal. He'll definitely get all of his subscribers back. <laughs> yeah, DJ, go ahead. Yeah, he's uh, he's a bit crazy, huh? Not the most realistic playing styles of the game. You uh, you won't find that here. I, I like to play most simulators kind of on the realistic side, as realistic as I can possibly get with my limited knowledge and it being a game, if that makes any sense. I do like Clutch, though. He's Clutch is probably the only streamer that I watch stream this game. I'm not really fond of FS Club. DJ Goham, he's a good guy. But, uh, yeah, he's a little... He's a little out there. Clutch does some crazy stuff, too. But I think I like his personality best. Maybe it's because we're probably closer in age. That's uh, that's probably got a lot to do with it. Oh yeah, see, Mr. Steely P, he's like, he's the go-to guy for console, right? But yeah, I, uh, I hope he gets his channel back, man. I hope he gets it back up running again. You know, that's uh, that's the kind of thing that can really really mess with your mental state as a YouTuber, losing your channel like that. I mean, that's that's huge, man. I mean, he was close to having 100,000 subscribers. He's had, I, I don't know how many videos on that channel, and they're just, they're just gone, man. I really hope YouTube can do something to get his videos back. Real shame. You play an Xbox? Nice, man. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd love to get some streams of this game going back up again and maybe doing some some multiplayer streams. We've uh, we've done that in the past with some people that I hated my Discord and stuff, and uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Hey, Wolf, I knew you'd be happy about this. I knew you'd be happy about it. How's, uh, how's the new gaming PC treating you? Been playing a lot of ATS? And if you are, how is it? How is it on a controller? Are you playing with a controller? I don't imagine you're playing that on a keyboard and mouse. Maybe you are. Let me know if you guys can hear the music. I just turned it up a little bit. I want to have a pretty good balance. I want you guys to be able to hear the music, but also hear my lovely voice. Oh, I missed that. That's all right. Just got a Western Star. Nice. Is that is that a paid DLC? Is that a mod you're using? What do you What do you got? What do you got? Music is low. Okay, I can try to turn up a little bit. I 
Like I said, don't want it drawing out my voice, but yeah, we can definitely turn it up. So yeah, this is going to be a really chill, probably slow stream, guys, because, you know, FS22, that's what it is. Oh, okay, it's one of the, uh, the base game ones, nice. Well, I don't know, I don't have the game, I don't know what comes with it. <laughs> How is it on controller? Is it pretty good on controller? You know, I figure if they can if they can do a good on controller for PC, then if they ever port it over the console, then it'll be good for the uh, all the controller people. Now, that field that you see across the way, across that little crook there, that's this field. That's all one field. This field is massive. Absolutely massive. You have to mess with the sensitivity. Okay, for like the steering. I can, I get that. My guess would be if they uh, they bring it over for console, it'll be optimized for the controllers anyway. From what I hear, SCS is a pretty good developer. You play ATS with keyboard and mouse? Wow, I don't think I could ever play a driving sim with the keyboard and mouse. You know, I, I'm spoiled though, I have a wheel. Since having the wheel, it's hard for me to play any games. That are driving without it. Snowrunner. Snowrunner's pretty good. I can handle Snowrunner without the wheel. That's not bad. But yeah, other games. This game is good without the wheel. I can I can handle this game with the wheel. But uh Yeah, I'm I'm just having a really good time with the wheel with this one today. Wacky but smooth. Okay, that's that's good. Hopefully. Well, it seems like the wheels are actually going up in price. Like Thrustmaster, they just brought out that T248. And uh, that's, uh, I don't know. I, I don't feel it's worth the price tag on it. I would definitely recommend anybody that, that wanted to get their, their first wheel, especially for a game like ATS or like a bus simulator or a farming simulator, a Thrustmaster T-150 or a Logitech. Those are still just the best bang for They still make the uh, they still make the T150 and the T150 Pro. I would keep my eye out on Amazon because when I got mine, I got mine on a really good deal. I got it for like under 200 bucks. Doesn't happen all the time, and you really have to keep your eye out for it. But every once in a while, they do have good deals on them. You know, and of course, a lot of people will say. You could go the second-hand route, but ah, I don't know, man. I'll be honest with you. I know that a lot of people are really rough on these wheels. Okay, I'm going to turn that down. Just touch. There we go. But, yeah. I'm always weird about buying second-hand things, especially like that. Like I said, I see a lot of people that are really rough on things. Like, I upgraded to the Fanatic, and I see people online all the time saying that they're breaking pins and stuff. I've never broken a pin yet. I've had mine over a year. You know, you just got to be uh, you gotta be careful with your stuff, man. You got to be gentle with it. You don't have to be crazy. Yeah, we got it. We, I'd like to get that bed going, but, you know, I need more people, man. I need, especially for a stream, I need, I need more people in...
So yeah, the uh, the wheel is actually working pretty smoothly tonight. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. Of course, no force feedback. You don't get any force feedback with farming simulator, which a lot of people are like, well, why would you want force feedback? And it's like, you know, it, force feedback isn't necessarily all about like intense like it is with racing games. Oh, I know that wolf. I know I can I know I can con you to be there. Come on, vehicle go. It's uh it's getting the word out for it, you know? I I cannot be successful with uh with Discord man. I just I just can't no matter what I do. I'll get pretty decent turnouts in my live streams. But I can't get anybody to join. And when I do get people to join, they just... They're not active. They're just not there. So... We'll, uh, we'll have to think of something. So what are you guys playing at the moment? What's your favorite game at the moment? Are there any games that you're, uh, that you're excited about coming out soon? I know it's... Uh, it's pretty slim, man, isn't it? It's it's kind of crazy. It seems like with the uh, the better technology and the, the bigger games, it takes a lot longer for games to be developed and have them come out. So yeah, it's uh, it's too bad, but it seems like for consoles, the indie games are really really moving forward, and they're they're really. <laughs> really doing a good job man a lot of great sim titles coming out for PlayStation yep City Skylines 2 that was just announced earlier this week I'm uh, I'm always skeptical when you see a game announcement and when they have a, a trailer, even if it's a te teaser trailer, you know, and they don't show actual in-game footage, you know, because you can you can make the pre-rendered movies look amazing, right? You can make them look movie quality, but if that's not what the game looks like, then it's just pointless. Although I guess the developer said that the graphics are going to look really good it's going to be running on i guess a updated version of the unity engine which some people were speculating that they were going to move over to unreal 5 but uh no the developers they confirmed that they are sticking with the unity my summer car i watched uh i watched arthur chapman i watched a couple of his videos that game. It's definitely an interesting looking game. Unity, it's it's alright. <laughs> it's alright. Oh no 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 no. I didn't that's not what I wanted to do. Ah I think uh I think Unreal's better for some things. You play too many games? <laughs> That's, you can't you can't play too many games, man. You know, I mean, look at here's the deal. If that's your hobby, and that's what you enjoy doing, then th there, there's no such thing as too many. Control, let's go. So you play with the hunter? Were you uh, were you in the stream last night, man? Hard to balance. Oh, yeah, I get it, man. I get that. You know, I mean, I don't know. I, I always feel that you you have to try. You have to try to balance 
the stressful shit in life and your hobbies. You know what I mean? It, it can't just be all about work, work, work. You crashed early? All right, man. That's cool. Maybe you can catch the next one. But yeah, I've always been a firm believer that you gotta you gotta try to make time. You gotta try to make time for the things you like. Otherwise, what's the point? Absolutely, you gotta have some fun. It is hard. It's hard when you're an adult, but you know you gotta try to do it. Unless you're one of those people that your job is the thing you love to do most, you know, then I, then I get it. My father was that way. You know, his job was like, he just, he absolutely loved his job. Absolutely loved it. I think if you, uh, you fall into that category, then you're fortunate person I don't think there's too many people out there that could say that come on go why won't you go oh there we go no what are you oh it's full jeez <laughs> Bear with me, guys. I haven't played this game in a while, all right? Don't, uh, don't pick on me too bad here. Okay, let's just stick this guy over here. Do that. And then we're going to have to go grab, grab our truck. You're a mailman in 53, so you tire easily. I get that, man. I get that. I'm uh, I'm 43 myself, you know. I I definitely get the whole tired thing. That's that's the one thing nobody told you when you were when you were younger. Nobody told you how tired you'd get all the time. <laughs> I was uh telling my parents that the other day. I was like, you know, you guys did not prepare me. For being older, you just didn't. <laughs> Let's see here. Can I? I don't. Yep, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way because I can't see with the wheel. So. And this isn't a weird location. It's, it's back tucked away, but it's not centered. We can hook onto it. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's swing this back around. Like that. Alright, Wolf. Glad to see you uh, made it to the stream. Yeah, we're going to try to get back into it. You know, that's, uh, that's the plan. We're going to try to get back into a lot of different games. A lot of the games that we've played over the past on the channel I want to get back into. Probably in a streaming capacity. Not a, uh, not a video capacity. The videos I'm doing right now seem to be doing alright, but I definitely want to switch it up with streaming here. Okay, let's see here. Did the harvester stay on? That's the question. No, it didn't. Damn it. <laughs> Stupid harvester. All right, there we go. We'll let that offload. Take a quick drink here. Yeah, I had to laugh because in the last night's stream, there was someone in there, and we were talking about fishing games, and uh, he mentioned a fishing game that I never heard of. And he goes, well, he goes, it was probably out before you were born. And I was, I had to laugh because I said, I bet I'm older than you think I am. I said, because if it was a game out before I was born, we're talking pre-Atari. 
You know, so I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Uh, nope, wrong vehicle. All right, let's let's get this moved out of the way. I like this truck, man. This truck is nice. Let's just uh, move this up over here. So I I want to show you guys this truck because this is this is really cool. When I hit the beacons, check this out. This getting here. <laughs> Look at that. That is crazy. I love that though. You're playing fishing plant as we speak. Well, you know what, man? That's a good choice. That's probably. Well, no, it's not probably. It definitely is the best fishing game on console. No question about it. No question about it. And it's still. It's still not perfect. But it's by far, I feel, the most realistic fishing game you can get on console. And I think anybody that fishes in real life uh, can understand that. I, I think it's really hard. It's hard to get fishing right in a video game. You know, like I see, uh, I see people talking about Call of the Wild, the angler, and I'm watching that, and I'm like, you're, you're getting trout on on spinner baits. You know what I mean? And I mean, not like inline spinner baits. They're getting them on like safety pin spinner baits that would you would use for bass, maybe northern pike, musky. You know, I, I don't know anybody that fishes for trout using safety pin spinner baits. And in that game, you know, you, you think that's realistic? Nah, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. You know, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you could never, ever in a million years, in your whole life, never catch a trout on a spinnerbait like that. I mean, you could catch a fish on anything, potentially, but you, you wouldn't consistently catch them on that. Yeah, that's, you know, that's what I mean. It's, it's just not realistic. And it's fine. It's fine. But I don't know. Maybe it's because I fish and I know that that's really, really off. <laughs> Maybe that's why it bugs me. It's probably a fun game though. I like the uh, I like the open world aspect of it. I think that's cool for a fishing game. You know, maybe if we could get a game that has that open world aspect with the mechanics of Fishing Planet, then you'd have a pretty decent. It's hard to recreate that that feeling of fighting a fish in a game, though. That's uh, that's the thing. I think with the PS5, with the adaptive triggers, uh, if a game developer wanted to, they could probably figure out how to do it better. But uh, it's not going to be Fishing Planet. I don't think they're going to update their game for for next gen. Especially considering it's a free-to-play game anyway. If I'm really being honest with you guys, there's... There really aren't any games out... That have been announced that I'm really excited about, other than, like, the sequel to Spider-Man. I'm pretty excited about that one. We're not going to see that until... I think November or somewhere around there. But other than that, man, they just they haven't really announced anything that's, that's getting me excited, you know?
One thing that I'm curious about. Will Farming Simulator announce a new game this year at FarmCon? I don't know. I think they're uh, they're going with the, the longer approach now. That they're not going to put out a game every two years. I think it's going to be like every three years now. So I don't know. I imagine I imagine they had the next game in development already. And no offense to anybody that's on, you know, the la last gen, PS4 and, and the Xbox. But uh, these games, they really need to start switching over to to this gen exclusive. Someone needs to start utilizing <laughs> what these systems have to offer. I will say that I've never really been interested in VR too much, but the new PSVR 2, that's, that's got my curiosity peaked. Well, even without the mods, I don't feel that we needed a game every two years anyway. When we had a game every two years, they just, they really didn't add anything in that two years worth buying a new version of the game. And I hate to say it, but the one thing about this game that bothers me the most is that the modders do better things than the actual developers. Like, we've had modders do things in this game that it's like, why wasn't that in the base game? Why, why did a modder do this? Why can't you guys do this? You're the developer. I still feel like games similar to this, I think that they make a shell of a game and they let the modders make it better. And it's a shame because, you know, Giants, they're collecting the money, <laughs> you know, from the people buying the game. When I would probably say 95% of the people that buy this game use a lot of mods. They're using a ton of mods. You know, as soon as mod maps start coming out, I I stop playing on the uh, the base game maps. Although I will say, in this game, I feel like the base game maps are the best that they've they've done yet. But still, you know, nothing compares to the mod maps. And uh, they're they're doing the uh, the whole season pass thing with a second season pass now, so it's interesting. And then they have like third party DLCs now that that modders made, like the uh, the pumps and hoses DLC. That's the DLC that they've worked with with modders. So I do like that. I do like that. And I mean, technically, if a modder makes a mod that requires a script. They could work with Giants, and they could put it in the game because it's their game. They can change the script, they can add scripts, they can do whatever, and they can add that as, as a DLC. You know, like, I'd absolutely love to see something like... Course Play. Or, or Follow Me, which... I mean, I guess we sort of have something like that in the base game now. It's, it's not... 
it's not great. And it's a little disappointing because in the beginning they said that they were going to continue to update that the the helper AI and stuff. And I, I haven't seen them do anything. They haven't added anything new that I don't see or they've done anything to it. So so disappointing when a developer says they're going to do something and they just they just don't do it. You know, unless it's going to be something in a DLC in this season. I don't know. Right, because it's, it's a script, and that's not allowed on a console. But if the modder worked with Giants, they could add that as a DLC because Giants, they can change the script because it's their game. You're not allowed to have scripted mods in the game because Sony and Microsoft don't allow it. But if Giants put it in the game, much like the Pumps and Hoses DLC, then it wouldn't be a problem. They could sell it. They could sell it as a DLC. They could incorporate it in the game. Because you got to figure, they haven't worked on PC because they they can change the script. Giants can change the script to this game because it's their game. So if they wanted to work with whoever is the modder that makes Follow Me or Course Play, they could definitely release it as a DLC. If I'm not mistaken, Pumps and Hoses DLC, uh, that's scripts. That's why they put it as a DLC. It couldn't be a mod. issue with a lot of these games is that there's no competition. Farming Simulator, there's no competition. There's no other developer that makes a game that comes close to this. And that's a problem. You know, we're already seeing that with Way of the Hunter. Like they did with Seasons. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Although... I kind of wish that they wouldn't have put Seasons in. I kind of wish they would have just let Realismus Modding do it because the Seasons mod is so much better. So much better than the base game Seasons. There's so much stuff that they left out. It's such a watered-down version of it. It's not even funny. I really wish that they would have just left it left it alone and left let them guys work their magic with it. I mean, there was so many cool things about that. You know, with the next farming simulator, I really hope they bring back watering the animals. I, I think that was just one of the the dumbest things taking that out. I mean, they could give us the option, right? They could have animal pens that have, like, you know, running water that you hook them up to the water line and they're automatic waterers. Or you can have barns that, you know, you need to water them yourself. There was no reason to take that out of the game. Cow pens. That's just a pasture, but all the uh, all the ones in this game that have um, a barn attached, they're self-watering. You don't you don't water. Maybe there's some mods that allow it, but the base game ones, they're all self-watering. But yeah, the open pens you still have to water. 
but you should have to water your cows and your animals no matter what. In FS19, one of the things I actually loved was Oxygen David's map where you, you would have to clean out the cow manure yourself and you would have to put it in the, uh, the manure heap or whatever. It didn't do it automatically. I thought that was brilliant. I thought that was just, you know, fantastic to add that. I think something like uh, a game called Farming Simulator they should be adding jobs, not taking jobs out of the game. This whole stream is going to be me harvesting this field. <laughs> this field is massive. What do I really hate doing on FS? Plowing. Never like plowing. Although, there's a mod that I use that makes it bearable. But like those in those inline plows, oh my god, I hate them. I, I hate doing it. And the only other things that I really don't like doing, I shut off. The, the stones and the weeds. I don't like stones and I don't like the weeds. The weeds are horrible. Those, those inline plows, man. Do not have a use for them. But uh, I'll show you what I use. Right here. These two. The SM72 or the SM82. These things are fantastic. This one's 26 meters, this one's 22 meters. Absolutely massive. Gets the job done really quick. I'll probably be using one of those tonight. Uh, I don't have the money for it. Well, we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. Same one you use? Nice. Yeah, absolute game changer that. Makes plowing so easy. So I'm thinking maybe I might start up my Twitch channel just so I can have regular music playing on there. Some games that I stream, I just, I like to have music going. Farming Simulator, hell, even Fern Bus Simulator, I would love to have some music going on in the background because I just, I can't drive without music on, not even in a game. Like in real life, my car, I turn it on, <laughs> I buckle up. I turn the radio on. Those are the first three things I do when I get my car. I don't know. I think no matter how old I get, I'm not going to be able to drive without music. It's just not going to happen. The music I got going on right now is royalty-free, supposedly. Not 
I'm there for royalty free music. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna take us quite a while. How is this whole field, man? This is a big field, and like I said, that's that's all that's all ours over there too, in front of us. That's technically the same field. No. Huh. Hit the wrong button again. That goes to show you how much I played this on the wheel. So this is a new crop. That's on this map. It's a shame that the field is full of this and it's already ready to harvest. I'd like to see what it looks like uh, fully grown when it's not ready to harvest yet, like fully in bloom, because it looks like little purple flowers, so I'd like to see that. I'd like to see what it looks like in-game. Okay, guys, we've got four watching. We've had up to like 10 watching, and we only have two likes. What's that about? Surely you can hit a little button. Just hover down to it and just press that little thumbs up. Every time, every time I ask for a like, I lose a viewer. It's like <laughs> that one person is like, nope. No, sir. I just can't do it. I guess I'll stop watching. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Oh, I stopped my ring. They're back. <laughs> So this has a, uh, a custom season calendar on this map, but again, again, they they don't have you having two plant seasons. I don't get it. Ah, oh, it is, man. It's so hard. Very difficult to hit that little thumbs up, you know. The most difficult thing a YouTuber can do, no, I don't, is get likes. And it doesn't matter. Even if, even, you can take a look at the biggest YouTubers. You can see someone that's got a million subscribers. They could have out a video that got 300,000 views. And they'll only get like a thousand likes. Now don't get me wrong, a thousand likes, that's a lot, but <laughs> considering that they had 300,000 views and only got a thousand likes, it's just, it's crazy. It's like the one thing that people just don't want to do. They don't want to hit that like button. And it's really stupid how much YouTube even cares about it. It really is. But any any small channel, any small channel, they really does help out the channel getting getting the, the likes 
likes to comments on videos and stuff like that, that's what YouTube likes to see. Okay. Let's get to the end here. And we'll go grab the truck and empty this again. Move this out of the way so we don't run over our crops. There we go. Let's put the pipe out again. Hopefully, the harvester won't shut off. Actually, let's uh, let's turn the header off. We don't need that on. All right, where, ah, there we go. Did I leave the truck running? I did. Well, let's just let's just waste diesel. Okay, let's hop in and shoot over there. this truck did I did I put the cover on this no I didn't thank god that sounds like something stupid I would do <laughs> all right let's see if we can't get uh okay the harvester oh we're not even close yet well there we go. Okay, we'll let that offload. And then we'll just pull this over to the side here, hop back in and continue our job. You know, I was thinking, what is it about simulator titles? What is it about simulator games that's so appealing? I mean, some of them have you doing the most mundane of tasks. But yet it's so enjoyable, you know? I, I was trying to figure that out, like, what is it? Uh, is that empty or are we full in that one? Nope, okay. So let's just pull. You know, like, from Bus Simulator, I've been really enjoying that game, right? And you're just driving a bus. You're, you're you're picking people up. You're going on different routes. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously the graphics and stuff are cool. I like being able to drive around Europe and stuff like that. But it's like, what is it about a game like that that's so appealing? I could guarantee you, if I was a bus driver in real life, I would not want to come home and play, you know, a bus game. <laughs> So yeah, it's uh, it's a little strange. Although I do know that there's there's a lot of farmers that enjoy Farming Simulator. You know that they uh they play it. I think for me it's like. You know, I would love to drive a harvester, but I know damn well if I got hired on a farm, you know, I'd be like cleaning out the stables first. You know, they wouldn't they wouldn't put you right on the cool jobs. And then I think with a game like this, there's no not a stress, not a stress involved with the real life situation of it. Thing is, and I, I could be wrong about this. I'm just going by my own personal experience. When I was younger, I would have no interest in a game like this. None at all. You know, when I was younger, I was definitely more into. Well, even back then, like. Uh, racing games, which I still am, but even then, like, uh, sports games, 
and like the more AAA titles, you know, the GTAs, RPGs, stuff like that. But I find that the older I get, I'm enjoying games like this a lot more. Front Bus Simulator? It's actually a really good game. It's actually a really good game. And like I said, the, uh, the fact that they were able to put that on console is just crazy. It's just mind-blowing. The fact that they have a map that size with no load screens or anything like that. You know, and the thing about, like, ATS, that's a game that they continue to, that they continue to, to that. it's a game they continue to develop. It's like ETS 2, that's another one. They're, they're still developing that game. Firma Simulator, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty much done. I mean, they're, they're going to bring out some more DLCs to it and stuff, but I mean, they're not constantly upgrading the graphics, they're not constantly upgrading the engine and things like that. Now, if you look at their newest title... Uh, called the bus. The graphics on that are a lot better. Like you can see the improvements that they made. And like I said, SCS they already confirmed that their new graphics engine. They're working on putting console compatibility in it. That was the biggest thing that was stopping them from bringing the game to console that they don't run that on Unreal 5 they don't run that on Unity they don't run that on one of those that's their it's their own graphics engine that they made in house and when they did it you know so many years ago that's an old game as well they didn't add console compatibility into it so there now you know I, I think I think it's a big missed opportunity for them to not try to bring their game over on console. I know so many people that would just love ATS like console. I mean, we've been so disappointed by trucking games on console, right? Truck driver, that was a joke. That that didn't even have my interest. Like I the minute I seen that game, I knew that was a that was a hard pass. At the very best, it looked like a phone game. You know, then On the Road. On the Road came out and, you know, it it looked good on PC. Absolute horrible, horrible game on console, unfortunately. I guess they are making it better. They're working to make it better, but it took them a long time. It took them a long time. So, yeah, console players... You know, they are just... They're ready, man. They're ready for a good... A good trucking sim. I guess the closest thing we have is SnowRunner. And that's... You know, not really... The kind of trucking sim that I'm looking for. Still a good game, though. I gotta say, I'm enjoying the new map and so on much more than, than the last one they, they put out. As a matter of fact, the uh, the first DLC of the second season pass for Farming Simulator is going to be coming out really soon. Sometime this month. I'm not sure the exact date, but I definitely know it's this month.
May 23rd, there's a huge update to Bus Simulator 21. That's getting the uh, the next gen treatment. It's getting a map expansion of Angel Shores finally. Something that they've been just talking about for a very long time now. And that's why it's going to be all free. Normally, an expansion for their maps on that game, you would pay for it. But because they've made everybody wait so long, they decided to uh, just do the whole update free of charge, not, not charge anybody. So that's pretty cool. I guess so. I don't know. Thing is, I live in America, you know. I so I'm not. If anything, I'm more interested in seeing overseas because I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna go to Germany. So that's uh, that's interesting to me. Firstly, I like that. You know. And I mean, when it comes to buses, right? America, we're not. We're really not that much of a bus country. You know, like, obviously, I, we have city buses, but, like, when I drive on the highway, I haven't seen, like, a coach bus in I don't know how long, man. So, I don't know. I don't I don't know how, how well I, uh... A bus game in America would do well. Let's say it was like a city bus game, like you're driving around New York or Chicago or something like that. That would be pretty cool. But America, we gotta have a trucking game. That that's that's the big thing in America. That's why we need we need ETS. ATS, ATS and ETS too. Both of them. I I. If they were, if they released tomorrow, I'd buy both those games tomorrow, and I would play the hell out of them. I miss that little piece. Come on, really. Boy, so we almost got this half done. <laughs> this is a giant field, man. Holy crap. Uh, I enjoy Train Sim World 3 as well. And I know a lot of people had their issues with the game, but I rather enjoy it. You know, maybe the problems lie within the game if you play it extensively, which I really don't. Big issues with the game. So what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to head over here. We're going to go around the headlands. Again, no American map. No American map on what? Train Sim World 3? Yeah, there are. There's several American maps. You have the, uh... Wait a minute. Yeah. Mostly all the freight stuff is American Train Sim World 3. For passenger stuff, you have, like, New York, you have Boston. Um, there's a California one. Peninsula Corridor, something like that it's called. Then you have the freight maps. You have the, uh, the Cajon Pass that, that came out with TSW3. 
Um, let's see here. Let's see here. There's the Horseshoe Pass. That's America. Uh, there's like two or three other ones as well. Yeah. Yeah, they, they definitely have American maps in the game. I guess I'm just not like the gung-ho America that is like, oh, I, I can only play in America. Yeah, I just, it, it doesn't, it doesn't really bother me. Like I say, I live in America. I see America all the time. I don't, I don't have to like, constantly be in America in the games either. Like I said, for me, it's, it's the only way I'll ever see anything out of America, to be honest. Yeah, uh, you're going to just have to wait, car. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Look at this guy. I'm not letting you pass. You're just going to have to wait. Okay, we're going to have to come to impasse here because that's a, that's a sizable ditch over there. You know, I'm not crazy about this field, if, if I'm being honest, because it's kind of cut down the middle. It's like a little crick that you can't cross. If I was a farmer and I owned this farm in real life, I would definitely do something about that. I would definitely do something about that. Uh, how do I want to go about this? This is a little tricky. All right. Let's just do this. It's funny because I see that a lot with the hunting games. Especially with Call of the Wild. Everybody wants, like, a map in their state for some reason. But yet, in America, we all have the same animals. We don't have, like, a real vast difference of animals per state. You know, most of the species in America are American species. And they pretty much have it covered in that game. But a trucking game, that almost has to be in America. Almost has to be. I say I, I'd happily play ETS2. The only thing is, I don't like European semis. I just don't like them. I've never been a fan of cab overs. They're an absolute dream to drive. Like your field of view driving a cab over is just insane. But just never, never liked the looks of them. Wow, really? Huh. That's weird. I know in their roadmap they, they talked about adding the ability to uh, change ammo and stuff, which I I actually love that game. Don't be wrong. I feel like it's such a step up from Call of the Wild in a lot of ways, but I don't know why they did that. I don't know why the shotguns are only birdshot. You know, it's it's one of those things where I don't know. I just didn't get it. Although I would say the consensus is that the majority of the players want compound bows. Which I can I can get behind that. I definitely want compound bows in the game. But it wouldn't bother me if they went a little bit similar to the way Call of the Wild does the weapons in the way of ammo selection and stuff like that. But again, that game, it's it's so young. 
you know, it hasn't been out that long. It's like literally anything can happen in that game. It's just what the developers do with the game. You know, I got my fingers crossed that they're going to develop that game for a really long time. You know, and it's going to be another game like Call of the Wild that we're going to be playing six years from now and just being like, oh my God, this game has changed so much in that time. Hopefully for the better. Hopefully for the better. Putting a worker on this field is going to be an absolute nightmare. Absolute nightmare. They're going to get so confused. That's why I figure we'll go around the headlands twice, maybe? And then throw a work around for a while and uh, try to get a plow. I know the plow's expensive. We don't have the money to buy it. Maybe we can lease it? I don't know. We don't have a lot of money. <laughs> don't have a lot of money at all. Maybe I can offload this and uh, maybe sell some of this stuff. I don't believe that's going to get us a lot of money. Ah, damn it. See that? I missed all that. That's all right. That's all right. Couldn't see around that corner, man. Okay, I need to... Yeah, this is the Edgewater Saskatchewan map. I've been watching Clutch play on this map. And uh, I happened to... We up the game today and seen that it was there, so... I decided to load it in and take a look at it. Pretty nice map, I like it. Saskatchewan, so it's Canada. Of course, that's why Clutch probably enjoys playing on it so much. <laughs> Let's, uh, Let's do a little inside action. You know, I'll be able to see a little better. Probably miss more, but... At least I can see where I'm going. Wow, this field is massive. This isn't even... Hmm, this isn't even where I started. That's crazy. So I'm really only going to get two likes today on this stream. That is crazy. Y'all are being really difficult. Really difficult today, man. Making me work for likes. Don't really know what much more I could do. Did I not even get over over there yet? Oh wait, maybe that's that's not our field. Oh wait, is our field? Holy crap! This field is freaking crazy. get a lot off this field. No doubt about that. Oh, you know what? I know why I'm not getting likes. I don't have a proper thumbnail. Damn it. <laughs> that my technical difficulties from the beginning are starting to come back and bite me Ooh, 
This is a bit bumpy. Yeah, like I said, if this was my farm, man, I, I'd put little little bridges over that. So I could cross over to the other field anyway. You know, we do have the power to do that. Through the power of mods. <laughs> We do have placeable bridges. So that is a possibility. Is a possibility. I feel like this is just the most relaxing thing you could do in the game. Just run your harvester like this, man. Just driving around the field, harvesting. Absolutely love it. When are we going to get back to where we started this? Okay, I have to possibly shut this music off because that sounds like that went off my playlist. So <laughs> I'll be getting all kinds of copyright claims here. Not that that's a big deal. Not that that's a big deal. Don't really make a lot of money off of live streams anyway. wants to watch an ad when trying to watch a live stream. I get it. Right, I think we can switch views now. Wait, we're going to be full soon. Where in the hell did we start? Uh, is that the road? You know, I really don't know. We're close to full, though. Premium, no ads. There you go. Yes, sir. Same here. Same here. We went. We went premium. Oh, a couple years back now. We watch a lot of YouTube, me and my wife. We watch a lot of YouTube, actually. And, yeah, we got... <laughs> we got sick of the ads. I hate to say it, because that's like the bread and butter of YouTubers, but... Yeah, you get sick of seeing the ads. Honestly, I, I'm not going to lie. I wish that there was a different way. that YouTubers could get money without the use of, of those annoying ads. I really do. Okay, we're going to just do that. Back up. And we're going to go tab over to the truck. And I am going to try to remember how to get over there. i got to go out on the road here. This the entrance? It sure is. Nice. There we go. I love this thing. What does the horn sound like? Ah oh, man. I don't like how it just cuts out like that. You know, I wish it would uh, kind of reverberate a little bit. Look at that Jake break. Love that. This is a great mod, man. A2 Studios, he does just great work. He really does. 
I don't think there's a mod that he's brought out that I haven't I haven't enjoyed. <laughs> uh, yep, there's our harvester right there. So we're gonna go in. Ooh, we're gonna. Damn, we are going to wreck a lot there. Uh, well, I don't know, guys. I don't think there's any way getting around it. to ruin some there's nothing we can really do about it I guess we can take off crop destruction but what fun is that <laughs> it's a simulator I gotta break a few eggs to make a cake <laughs> this is this field is so much bigger than it looks man holy crap that's alright see I'm getting my my ATS <laughs> You know, live my ATS fantasy in Fermi Simulator. Wow. Where's the harvester, man? Are we close? Much way over there still. Holy crap. This field is no joke, man. Wow. This field is no joke. <laughs> I can see the harvester. Wow. Look at the harvester's way over there still. <laughs> Jesus. Man, you know what? I I probably should have just destroyed the crops and it's still it's still way over on the other side of the field yet. Wow. Yeah, I'm not going to get this field done in this stream. There's no way. We're getting there. We're getting closer. Let's do that so we can line it up. Man, I'm thinking maybe I should have just destroyed some crops, you know? Probably lost more in diesel than we would have in crops. And I mean, we're gonna have to destroy some crops anyway. I bet you, I bet you the harvester's off. It is. We were going too long. Let's put that in the back one anyway. There. And we had to destroy some crops anyway. No getting around that. Jesus, this field is huge. A little offload. Grab a drink here. Let's 
so I'll uh, I'll see how much we get done. I'm gonna go to nine, guys. We'll do a uh, typical two-hour stream. Friday nights are usually the only times that I go super long. Hey, that's all right, man. I appreciate you stopping by. Hope you have a good night. Okay, so let's back this up. Destroy more crops. Okay. We'll just leave that there for now. And we'll continue on with what we were doing. Guys, we have six watching. At least two of you hit the like button. I know y'all can do it. Fine, five watching. One of you hit the like button. Three likes. Let me, let me see three likes tonight. That is not too much to ask. You're here anyway. Might as well hit the thumbs up. Either hit the thumbs up or subscribe. Whichever it is you want to do. I don't care. Do whatever. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> I, of course, see that. The minute, the minute I talk about hitting the like button, everybody leaves. Story of my life today, I swear to God. You guys, if I put a thumbnail up, Will you give me a like? I think that's where it is, man. I think it's that, that thumbnail. You guys aren't going to give me a thumbs up because I don't have a thumbnail. You're, you're a tough, tough crew. Tough crew. I respect that. So those of you hopping and hopping out, we're going to be harvesting probably the rest of the stream. There's not much I can do about it. This is a very harvest heavy stream. I think I've bitten off more than I can chew. <laughs> uh, yeah, because let's see. Uh, down if I set a worker off on this I know it's gonna happen I'm gonna be offloading that you know every 10 minutes so I guess we're gonna do the headlands one more time and then take it from there it'll probably be nine o'clock and then we'll end the stream Oh, my God. <laughs> Bill. Dude, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I hope you're still in chat. Thank you so much, man. Bill coming in with the $10 super chat. My God. I appreciate that, man. I really do. If it wasn't for people like you watching me, there would be no point in me doing it, man. So, yeah, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely awesome. Very generous of you. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend, bud.
This game is crossplay, so maybe I'll maybe I'll see you on the farm someday. Maybe we'll get a multiplayer game up and running. I definitely want to do that again. We've done it before, and it was a lot of fun. It's just trying to get the people in to do it. That's all it is. Yeah, if I didn't have this on real time, we would have probably, well, we'd probably already be into the second day. I only, I'll only use real time on streams. Uh, usually when I'm playing this, I think I have it set at either three or five. But yeah, for the sake of streams, I don't want to have to change time a ton. Although, um, I will change it more we get uh, growing and stuff like that because one time it, it would take forever for things to grow. Or we could just skip ahead several months. That's not a big deal either. <coughs> Pardon me. So the problem is, even once I get these headlines done, if I set a worker off, I have no idea. There, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way you can set a worker off on this and he's not going to get stuck. Like, immediately. And really, there, there's not, there's not going to be many ways to straighten this field out. Let's, uh, let's try to cut it off here. Because it really feels like we're not getting anywhere <laughs> with this field. You know, it definitely feels like we should have a second harvester up on this field. Because it is just ridiculously massive. So yeah, we'll kind of cut it there. And then we'll, uh, we'll take care of this strip on the left. This may be to look like we've done something. Folding is now... Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. On my steering wheel, there's uh, what's called a funky switch. And you can press it in and it's the same as X. And I keep hitting that one. It's very close to the other button. The button I need to raise the header, so... Get her into position. And we start all over again. So, yeah, hopefully, if we get this spot taken care of, it'll feel like we've accomplished something. So much here to do. Maybe next weekend we can get someone in here to help us. <laughs> Maybe we can get Wolf in here. She's she's always wanting to play far Farming Simulator. finish this up and that's probably what we're going to end the stream you know I'm 
not bad. It's always it's always difficult getting back into a game that you haven't streamed in a while. I think this was a pretty good stream though for a first time back. We'll definitely get back into it. I know there's some people that are on the channel that I haven't I haven't seen in a while, man. It's probably because I haven't been doing farming simulator. You know, I know some of them are very busy. try to cut this to make it a little bit easier for us to uh, maneuver here. I'll pick that up later. Still, it'd be really difficult to get this field straight. It would be interesting to see what the AI does with this. I don't think they would do much. They would be getting stuck all the time. So that's why that's why I think I'm just gonna have to do it myself. I'm only at fifty four percent, so I don't think they're worried about grabbing the truck yet. That's another thing, man. Driving the truck over here is ridiculous. It's it's such a long drive. I don't want to just cut over and destroy all those crops. I did it again. I gotta start looking at the wheel. I gotta start looking at the wheel. Actually, the, uh, the wheel is doing really good tonight. I'm surprised. Even in the outside view, which I don't normally like using the wheel with an outside view. Uh, it's, yeah, it's fun tonight. It's, it's going good. I like it. I say it's a little slower pace using the wheel. But it doesn't bother me. Not in the slightest. I'm here to just chill out in this stream. Have some fun with a game that I absolutely love and haven't been playing a lot of. Chatting with some really cool people. See, that was pretty cool because Bill said that he, he's a lurker and he doesn't usually say much, but uh, he talked quite a bit tonight, man, so good on him. Yeah, see that? All that over there is ours, too. <laughs> That's wild. Absolutely wild. Ah, see? I looked at the wheel this time. You know, I'm thinking of starting my Twitch channel up again. I know I've said this a lot, but uh, you know, over on Twitch, at least you can play music. That's that's the one thing I really don't like about YouTube is the fact that you can only play the uh, copyright free music. Saturday night would probably be a decent night to stream on Twitch. 
kind of have Saturday night as just a uh, just a random night, just just whatever we feel like playing. Whatever we feel like playing. I most likely be something like farming simulator or something like that. Try to keep it similar to what we have on the channel, but also maybe go outside of yeah the comfort zone of the YouTube channel. You know, I remember I did a, uh, a stream for Sleeping Dogs on YouTube. And not a, lot, not a ton of people were in it, but it was a fun stream, man. It was fun. It was fun doing something different. It's always difficult playing a different game than what's normally on your channel. But I'm a gamer just like you guys. I don't, I don't just play these games. I don't just play simulators. I do play... You know, everything. It's got to appeal to me, though. Some games just don't appeal to me. One game that I played over the holidays, I got the Spider-Man Miles Morales game, and... I played that and I beat it and I absolutely love that game, man. I really thought about doing some live streams of that game, but I was like, you know what? I know nobody's going to want to watch me play a game like that. So, but yeah, absolutely enjoyable game, man. I kind of get what people were saying about it, that it was a little on the shorter side compared to the Spider-Man game, but I, I thought it was done really well. And you can kind of see how it's a uh, it's a setup for the next Spider-Man game, which I can't wait to see how they handle that, because I know that Spider-Man and Miles Morales both are going to be in the new game. I'm going to assume that probably parts of the story you'll control Peter Parker and other parts of the story you'll control Miles Morales. They couldn't even do what they did in one of the Batman games where you had the, uh, the AI kind of help you where you had kind of like moves that you could do combos and stuff. That'd be pretty cool to see. Speaking of that, it looks like they pushed the uh, Suicide Squad back, which I thought that game was going to be good, but now that I've seen more of it, ah, I don't, I don't know, man. After that last Sony State of Play that they showed it off, I don't know. It looks pretty generic to me. Oh, you know what? I know what game I am excited for. The, uh, the, the new Jedi game. That looks really good. I have the first one. <laughs> I even did a live stream on it. Really good game. Really good game. Probably a better Star Wars story than the majority of the new Star Wars movies that are out. Uh, do I want to do this now? Yeah, you know what? Let's let's just grab this now, I guess. Get this a little bit here. Maybe, yeah. All right, that's that. That's that bit that we missed. Yeah, we'll grab that too. as this as we can. I'm just going 
cut here so we can just keep going around. And do one continuous motion here. I wonder how much this stuff even sells for. I hope it's worth it. You know, I might actually even work on this field after the stream so we're not doing this for two streams because, my God. As much as I like harvesting, <laughs> I don't want to be doing it for two. Not in the same field, anyway. Okay, let's get this big chunk. Big piece over here, I think we did. Might as well get that. Oh, it's not that big, but we'll uh we'll collect this as well, why not? We got all kinds of deer in the field already starting to eat the leftovers. strange because those are clearly roe deer <laughs> and I know there's no roe deer in Saskatchewan Canada maybe in a zoo but they definitely aren't native ah oh god you know what we might as well we might as well get this too we're right here kind of can't stand seeing it there <laughs> all right that bit done. Uh, let's see what's around this corner. Hmm. Yeah, there's just no, no good spot to, to cut this off at. So, in that case, what we do is we just cut it to pieces. Cut it to pieces. That's what we do. Actually, I see what way the field's going, so we could, we could hire a worker. We kind of screwed it up by doing it this way. But, I think we can get something going here. Definitely need to do this again, make this wider. You know, I knew, I knew this field was this big, I should have bought a bigger harvester. I should have got like the biggest harvester that's in the game. Although this harvester is doing pretty good. We're actually going pretty far between uh, offload so Let's see, can I make it to the end? Before it fills up. I don't know, I think, I think we're gonna make it. Yeah, we're definitely gonna make it. Yep, definitely not a problem. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way. We're going to get the truck with the trailer. We're going to offload. And that's probably where we're going to end the stream for tonight. 
Believe it or not, we really did get a lot done. This field is massive. And if we take a look, wrong button. Uh, all the purple, pardon me, all the purple is what we got done. So we definitely got a lot done. But there's still a lot more that has to be done. We will just run over to the truck here. Beautiful day, beautiful blue sky, warm sun. Yeah, I'm, I'm craving these days, man. It was it was a nice day today. Another one of those days where the uh, the sun came out like around four o'clock, which is pretty cool. And if I'm not mistaken, guys, if you're in America, clocks go ahead tomorrow, tomorrow or tonight, like early early in the morning. I think so, yeah. So that's always a sign of, you know, spring is getting closer. First official day of spring is this month, but <laughs> that doesn't mean anything when you live in the north. That is just a day. We'll still have winter weather probably right through the middle of April. We don't really start seeing a lot of green in this state till May? Very rarely do we see in April. Whoa! Okay. That just happened. Okay, probably gonna stop that harvester in the best area. And I bet you shut off. It shut off on us again. Okay, so if we don't shut the harvester off, I think that's the, that's the problem. Yeah, there we go. All right, final offload of the night, guys. Final offload of the night. Six watching, and I still only have two likes. Ah. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. Next time, I will definitely have a thumbnail up. I wonder how much this trailer holds. All right. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys, even if you're just lurkers and you won't give me that like. That's fine. And uh, I hope we see you next week at the same time, maybe. Um, I'm not sure. Like, I'm not going to set anything in stone. We'll definitely do a stream midweek, Wednesday or Thursday. That'll be a Fern Bus stream. Fridays will be a regular Way the Hunter stream. And I definitely want to get something going Saturdays. Maybe not every Saturday. But, uh, yeah, we'll definitely be doing more Farming Simulator and other games that we used to have on the channel that we don't do as much anymore. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and we'll see you next time.